the city of Kolkata has always had a special place in any study of Indian history. When British imperialists came to India, they decided to make this eastern Indian city their strategic base. Their troops stationed themselves in Fort William as early as in 1702 and Kolkata remained the capital of the British presidency till 1911. Without knowing it at the time, it was the British who wrote the preface to the story of Indian football in their glory days in Kolkata, which was then called Calcutta. According to most available records, the first game of football played in India was in Kolkata in 1854, between the Calcutta Club of Civilians and the Gentlemen of Barakpur. In 1868, there was a game played between the Etonians and the rest. And public schools of Eton, Harrow and Winchester played a series of games two years later. A big step towards Indianizing football was the establishment of the Dalhousie Club in 1878, the oldest football club in India. The Wellington Club followed in 1884, as did Shoba Bazaar Club in 1887. Also in various colleges, most significantly in the Presidency College, students joined to set up football clubs. In 1889, a group of distinguished North Calcuttans would go on to shape Indian football's history in a big way when they established a football club and they named it after Marble Palace near their ground at Fariakpur Street, Mohan Bagan Villa. It's not often that a sporting victory is hailed as a massive part of a nationalist movement. But on the 29th of July 1911, Mohan Bagan captain Shivdas Bhaduri and Abhilash Ghosh helped overcome East Yorkshire Regiment 2-1, thus dismissing any notions of British invincibility on the sporting fields. Uh, that was seen as the vanguard of the Indian national movement because there was these famous scenes after the final. In fact, uh, an old Bengali gentleman tugged at the sleeves of the Mohan Bagan captain and pointed him to the flag at Point Fort Williams that you have lowered one British flag today when are we all going to lower that other flag? A group of Bengali boys Shib Daj Bhaduri, Bijay Daj Bhaduri, Ovilaj Ghosh and then host of other Reverend Shushi, Reverend Chatterjee, Shudhip Chatterjee, Hiralal Mukherjee, Abul Chorkar, I can name them all today and they played with East New York in 1911 and we beat them in the finals and that was the history and it must have motivated the Bengalis and other Indians to take up the game of football in a big way. The whole sort of, you know, the supporters had come from all over. There was thousands of supporters who couldn't see the match. So on kites, messages used to be sent that most Mona leading one nil, score still one all. They were just happy to be there. Mohan Bagan's historic triumph in 1911 and the establishment of arch-rivals East Bengal nine years later may be seminal events in Indian football history. But the real nemesis of British domination on the football pitch would be Mohammedan sporting club. And in the 1930s, very interestingly, Mohammedan sporting were the first team to play all in boots. They were very far thinking. They said that's the future of football. They were the first team to have a physical trainer. We didn't just be content on playing on, you know, skill. And uh, they won the Calcutta League five years in a row with all British clubs participating, which is a formidable record. That team really set the ball rolling. So you had these three big rivalries. Uh, East Bengal, Mohan Bagan and Mohammedan Sporting, all trying to compete. And the world ke andar abhi tak aisa player paide hi nahi hua. Aur na hoga. Is tarika ka ball chanta hai, yeh panje ke upar utha ke isse hard jata hai.
we set off in search of one of the biggest stars of that rampaging Mohammedan team of the 30s. Somewhere in these bylands of Kolkata lived Muhammad Salim, a legend in his lifetime but a forgotten hero today. Salim's exploits deserve a place of pride in Indian football history, yet few in his own hometown seem to know of it. Fortunately, one of his admirers directed us to a house on Kolkata's Sharad Bose Road, where his family now lives. In 1936, our father was player, the only player who played in England. He was the first Indian, who had not been recognized here. He said that the Viking Bhutia was the first Indian footballer. इसको लेके हम से कुछ टिफ हुए हैं प्रेस वालों से तो हमने कहा इफ यू आर राइटिंग अबाउट बाइचुंग एंड यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस तो हमारे फादर के बारे में भी कुछ लिखिए जो बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस फर्स्ट डिवीजन खेले थे और बाइचुंग तो जस्ट सेकंड डिवीजन खेला था एंड दैट ऑल्सो ही प्ले टू और थ्री मैचेज एंड माई फादर वॉज ए रेगुलर प्लेयर इन सेटिक एफ सी विच वॉज द फर्स्ट डिवीजन क्लब ऑफ स्कॉटलैंड तो वट आई नीड इज दैट माई फादर शुड गेट रिकनाइज एज the first indian who had played abroad there were people who thronged in to see a man from india playing barefoot and made a name and he got the title of india juggler that very day because he was so perfect in his barefoot ke unko boot ki zarurat nahi thi so he had to uh, fight a court case for 21 days then they allowed him to play barefoot corner se unhone kaha ke bhai yahan se aap kya kijiyega bole hum goal karenge to bole ye to impossible hai bole unhone karke dikhaya स्वर्व करते थे बेयर फिट से उनकी किक स्वर्व करती थी अगर गोलकीपर सेकंड पोस्ट पे खड़ा होता तो फर्स्ट गोल पे गोल हो जाती थी अगर वो फर्स्ट बार पे आता तो वो सेकंड बार पे मार देते थे तो उन लोग और क्वेश्चन ही नहीं कि उनको नेक्स्ट डे टीम में डाल दिया उन्होंने कहा कि मिस्टर सलीम वी वॉन्ट टू मेक अ चैरिटी मैच पीपल वॉन्ट टू सी यू वी विल गिव यू फाइव परसेंट ऑफ इट वेरी वेरी शॉर्ट परसेंटेज सो हमारी इंडियन दिमाग थी उन्होंने कहा क्या हम क्या करेंगे दे दो गरीबों को Then it came to about 1800 pounds. So when he came to it, it was quite a big one. But still, he had given his word. So what happened? He felt very happy that the orphans took out the, so about 30, 40 cars, and the orphans came out and took him along the streets, you know. And he felt very happy about it. He invented that bicycle kick in India. Ball ko wo apne panje se uthate the, utha ke upar karke and used to hit. Wo khali pa ball ko leke chalte the, lekin ek bhi matti ka chhita unke pant pe nahi padta. Last mein khel jab khatam hua karti thi, player log aake kya karte the? Ball utha ke unke pant pe laga diya karte the. Jaise English team hua karti thi, Kiara, Durham, Black Watch, EB Railway, Rangers, Dalhousie, isme Britishers khela karte the. Aur jo ball se khela jaaya karta tha, uska naam tha Megrigar ball. I think aaj ke door ke player ko agar wo ball de diya jaaye, to mera khayal hai wo 10 gaz se 15 gaz bhi shoot nahi kar payenge. Itni heavy ball hogi. उस पर हमारे फादर बेयर फिट खेलते थे देखिए एक बार हमारे एक फ्रेंड है लंदन में है मिस्टर जेम्स पाइक ही स्टेज इन सरी उनको मैंने कहा था एक बार कि जस्ट फाइंड इट आउट इफ माई फादर इज देर हिज नेम इज देर सो ही वेंट एंड फाउंड आउट दैट इज द बिग पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ माई फादर स्टिल देर दैट मीन्स दे स्टिल रिमेंबर माई फादर एंड हियर पीपल जो, जो माने जिनके हम, हम मालिक हैं यहाँ पैदा हुए हैं वो रिकगनाइज नहीं करना चाह रहे हैं कि आप के फादर जो है फर्स्ट इंडियन फुटबॉलर हैं इट इज वेरी स्ट्रेंग ही वॉज आस्ट टू बी ए प्रोफेशनल बट उन्होंने कहा नहीं भाई हम अपना मुल्क छोड़ के नहीं रहेंगे सो ही केम बैक टू हम जब स्कूल में थे तो हम चार भाइयों सिस्टरों को बुला के कहा कि भाई देखो तुम लोग बड़े हो गए हो जो भी करो जिंदगी में अच्छा करो बुरा करो एक ही चीज ध्यान रखना कि तुम्हारे फादर का एक नाम है योर फादर इज ए वर्ल्ड नोन फिगर उनका नाम कभी नीचे नहीं होने Just I want my father's name to be put as the first Indian footballer to play abroad. That is the only thing which I want, nothing else.